Welcome back to the garage. Today we're installing a Mods Flip 4 seat on the EasyGo RXV. Here's how we did it. These are the tools we'll be using on this installation. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove our sweater basket by removing the two bolts on top and the one bolt underneath on each side using a T45 Torx and a 15 millimeter wrench. And once we get all of our bolts out, we'll just slide it right off. Okay, now we're going to remove the front seat back. What we'll do is we'll remove the two bolts holding the seat back on going through the seat back support on each side using our T45. Now using two 15 millimeter wrenches, I'm gonna remove the bolts on each side that hold the sun top support to the seat back support. Now before you take out all the bolts, be sure to have a broomstick or some type of support for the roof assembly. So we'll remove that and add a support. Now we're going to take the access panel off. On the back here we have two bolts that are T27. So let's go ahead and remove those. Once those are removed, we'll just pull it right off. Next what we'll do is go ahead and remove these two bolts here that hold on the seat back support to the frame. They're 15 millimeter. This is the difficult side. So what I'm going to do is get my wrench, put across the head of the bolt, and go to the other side and use my deep well socket to remove the nut. Now that I've got the socket on, I'll hold on to the wrench to take this bolt out. And as you can see, the driver's side is much easier to get to. Now with all the bolts removed, we can remove the seat back supports. Now remember, save all your hardware. You will be reusing most of this. Now we're going to install our new seat back support. Make sure that the long end goes in first, and then we'll bolt it in using the hardware we just removed. Now I'm going to install the rear seat back support. And one thing you want to make sure of is that the L portion goes towards the inside of the car, and that the long angle goes to the bottom. Now I've removed the support that was holding up the sun top. I'll put the bolt through, through the main seat back, and then through the sun top. We will do this on both sides and I just used the hardware that was already on the golf car. Remember to keep everything hand tightened for now. As you can see, we went ahead and reinstalled the access panel. Now we're going to put up the seat support bracket, which goes across the bottom of the inside of the bag well. We'll do that by removing the two bolts that are T45. Save these because we're fixing to use them again and then we'll bolt it in using the hardware we just removed. Now we're going to install the actual seat frame. We'll line it up so that the bolts will go in the outer two holes. Be sure not to push the bolt all the way through just yet. We still have to save room to get the washer and the nut on. And now we'll mount the support to the main frame. We'll use the outer hole on each side and repeat this step on the other side. Next, we'll mount the footrest support to the actual footrest. When doing this, make sure that the C channel is pointing inward. And the cup here will actually mount on the oblong hole. We'll put it over that and put the bolt in. Now that we've got the footrest supports mounted, We'll actually mount that to the seat supports. Remember to keep everything hand tightened for now. Now we're going to install the armrest and we're going to mount it to the seat frame first. Now to the footrest. Now for the footrest support, make sure that this little L bracket goes behind the armrest and the other one is actually going underneath the footrest for support. 
we'll line it up and install the bolt. Now to mount the armrest to the seat frame. Make sure to leave enough room for it to wash her in the nut. Now we'll mount the armrest to the seat back support frame, making sure we use our plastic spacer. And repeat this step on the other side. Now we'll mount the seat back support to the seat back support bracket. Now we'll do the same to the other side. Now using the original seat hardware, we're going to install the front seat back. Now that we've orientated our seat back where we know this is the upper position, we will put our seat bracket on these holes here, which are offset, making sure that our seat channel is facing down. Remember when tightening this up, do not over tighten. Now we'll set our seat back across the support and install our bolts. You can go ahead and fully tighten these down. Now to install our seat base cushion. You're gonna orient it onto the frame, so it's centered, making sure that your little hand cutout is to the back. Now we'll install our number three Phillips head screws with our little concave washer. Make sure you only use a screwdriver to install these. Now we can just go ahead and tighten up all the bolts, starting from the footrest all the way up to the seat back. Well, we've had a successful day here at the garage. We've got our Mods Flip 4 seat installed, and I tell you, this is one sturdy seat. It comes already pre-drilled for a safety bar or trailer hitch. It has brackets back here in the back for seat belts for one or two people riding on the back. If you got two, you really might want to consider some heavy duty lead springs. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com and make sure to check out our other videos.